Hey guys, today I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys my absolute favorite homeschool binder. Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite homeschool binder. Yes, we are talking about this guy right here. This is the Mead um, five star flex binder and it has changed our homeschooling world <laughs> that sounds drastic but it's so true guys um, you know the old binder that um, you open it up and it spills your drink or you can't sit next to your brother because there's no space because you have to have both sides open um, you open it up and your elbow tears the page out or you spill on it. Uh, there's just not enough room for that old binder and so that is why I'm so happy that I found this flex binder. Let me show you a little bit about why we love this binder so much. So check it out. It has these flexible rings and a fabric binding, which means you can fold the folder completely in half. Now you don't have any of the same problems you used to have with that traditional binder. It also means that for us homeschoolers, we can three hole punch our digitally downloaded curriculum and use this binder instead of sending it to the printer for them to bind. Uh, guys, this is genius. We use this binder in two different ways. The first way we use it is as our daily binder. So each kid has one of these flex binders and it is their daily binder they go to. Then the second way I use it is to store my teacher's manuals in. Uh, so for our group lessons, I have a teacher's manual that I organize into this flex binder and then it's easy to use. So let me show you both of the ways that we use this binder. Okay, so here it is. This is the daily binder and this first page for my younger kids, I just have their name that they can trace and I put it inside a protective sheet so that they can do that with a dry erase marker and wipe off. Then there is each section uh, I have for each day of the week. So each section houses our language arch sheets, our whiteboard sheet, that's the sheet here on top is the whiteboard sheet. The next is our handwriting page. And then after handwriting is our language arts. And so for each day, that's what I have each day's lesson under each tab for one day of the week. Then the next tab is for our group unit and we just print and go. So as we're doing our group unit, we will put those pages behind that tab and the same for Bible. We have a tab for Bible right here and we will put what we're learning about for our Bible behind that tab. And then we have a whole bunch of extra paper in the back. Um, and that is for any extra writing we want to do or drawing pictures or anything like that. And so these flexible rings, you can just pop right out, just like a binder, but easier because it's flexible and you just pop them right back in. Next, I'm going to show you how I use this binder to organize my teacher material. So this one has our group lessons in it and right now we're doing traveling the states. So in the front, I've put uh, the main bulk of my teacher manual for traveling the states. So it's just all the main information right here up front. Then in this tab, I store things that we use sometimes, but not every time. And it is just various items that go along with our unit. Then in the next section, we have our 
the pictures that go with each lesson and our state map. I love how these folders have that extra little um, pocket. Then I have another section of my teacher manual. This is the nature profiles for every state. So they have their own section, so that is easy to find. Then behind that we have the games and the pockets make this so easy to store. So I have bingo sheets back there. Then you can open up this compartment down at the bottom and I have another game stored. So not only does it have this pocket, but it also has a pocket on the pocket. <laughs> and it just makes it store easy to store whatever you're wanting to store in there. And I love that about this. And so you can see the next part is our passports. I store those in the little pocket with all of the state flags printed out behind. And it's easy to get to when I need it. And some different planning things in the back that I write all over extra paper for me for my planning. And that is about it. Uh, I can, again, I've said it a million times already, but you can fold this down to where it doesn't take up very much space. You only have to work on the one page that you're working on. Uh, and it is just our favorite binder ever. <laughs> Okay, that's it guys. That is our favorite binder. And so I hope that I have showed you something new and that you love this new Flex Binder as much as I do. I will link it in the description of this video so that you can go grab you one or 10 or 20. Um, and I hope you come back and see us. Bye guys.